Hello, this is Dr. Aeronautics, and today I'm be doing the mod spotlight on Forge. Now, Forge is a different mod. Uh, it's not like the rest of the. Uh, okay, I didn't initiate that. Uh, Forge isn't like the other mods in that uh, they add something to the game. Forge is a framework mod, which means it sets it up. Uh, sets up programming to make it easier for you to load other mods so that you don't have to go through the same drag and drop rigmarole that you do for other things. So the first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is go to minecraftforge.net to install and then you come to this page you hit releases and then it shows you all of the different various releases so my version happens to be 7.7.1 that's what I use to get all of the mods together at one place and one time so to get Forge click it and you have various things here and uh, I recommend getting Universal Direct that's what I use and that will start downloading and when that's done You go ahead and open this up. Okay, and now that's going to be open. So the other thing you're going to need is the WinRAR Archiver, which is used for almost all PC mod moving stuff in Minecraft. So we're going to go open with WinRAR Archiver. And the next thing that you're going to have to do is open up .minecraft. So that's done by doing percent app data percent. That'll open up your roaming folder. You hit .minecraft. And you go to bin, and then you have your Minecraft executable .jar. Open with WinRAR. Yeah, I know that's not the case. Okay. So then you got all of this. Um, you don't have quite as many folders as I do because I have 20 mods installed. But uh, to install it, you would delete metainf. So you go to delete files, and then it would prompt you to delete, and then you click delete all. But I have it installed already, so I can't do that. The next thing that you do is grab all of this, hit Control A to select all and then you drag make sure you drag into this region so that you don't drop any folders and in, files into the folders drag and drop and then it'll prompt you if you want to add and replace files and you hit yes and that should happen and then the next thing that you would do is close out of this and open up your minecraft Okay, so now Minecraft is open, and you should see over here this little screen over here with the various things. Uh, Minecraft Forge current version. This is the current version that I have, and it should it should tell you how many mods you have loaded, and you can see the mods here. Now, typically, when you when you install it, the mod list will only be. Uh, like these three I believe so you'll have Minecraft Forge, Forge Mod Loader and I believe the Coder Pack also comes with Forge and then when you add mods to it as I'll show you in the other mod spotlights like Optifine is the probably the next one I'm gonna show you guys actually after uh, too many items they should appear here and they should pile up uh, as many mods as I have 20 uh, they're all here so that's basically how it works and for you programmers out there uh, let me open up bin again as I said this basically sets up the framework so you can see all of the good mods in here all you have to do is download them and then you drag and drop them assuming they're not core mods so you have a mod folder here and it can allow minecraft to run mods directly from this folder and the core mods folder I have two I have two core mods 
All right, guys, so that's Minecraft Forge. Forge, op Forge allows you to open your Minecraft world to a bunch of mods as I did. It makes it much easier to deal with mods and a lot less uh, icky, and it's easier to back up my dot .jar. When I want to play a vanilla Minecraft in the current version, all I have to do is back up the dot .jar and force an update. And then to backdate, all I have to do is go to the bin and delete the dot .jar and then pull the copy in that I got, and then I'm instantly playing my 20 mod version Minecraft that took me about six hours to fully install. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys at the next Mod Spotlight. Bye!